Hi students, welcome back. Let's continue with the conditions of the parallelism. The first conditions of the parallelism is the data dependency. So the data dependency, the data dependencies are of five types. These are five types of data dependencies are there. So the first one is the flow dependency. Okay, the first one is the flow dependency. And the second one is the anti-dependency. Anti-dependency. Third one is the output dependency. Fourth, input-output dependency. And the fifth one is unknown dependency. Unknown dependency. So these are the five different types of data dependency. Now let's have a look on one by one each. So with an examples. So the first one, what is the first one? The first one is the flow dependency. Let me explain about the flow dependency. So flow dependency means what? Let me take a two statements like the segment S1 statement is C is equal to A plus B. This is one equation. Let me take the another equation. D is equal to C plus D. So, if you clearly observe here, after executing of S1 only, S2 need to be executed. That means the output of C we are using in the second statement S2. So, the result of A plus B will be stored in C and these results are going to be used in the second statement. So, the statement S2 is flow dependent. You call it as a flow dependent on S1. Here the meaning is the S2 is flow dependent on statement S1. That is at least one output of S1 is used as input to S2. That is the meaning of the flow dependent. At least one output of S1 is used as an input to the S2. So, this you also call as the flow dependent is also called as R-A-W hazard. Read after write hazard. The flow dependent you call it as a read after write hazard. So, you can represent this as S1 determines S2. That means S2 is a flow dependent on S1. The meaning here is S2 is flow dependent on S1. So, this is the first type of data dependency. Let me explain you the second type of data dependency that is the anti-dependency. When you say there is an anti-dependency between the statements. So, anti-dependency means it's just a reverse of whatever we had discussed in the flow dependency. Let me take the two statement S1 is equal to D is equal to C plus T. Okay, C plus T. And S2 is equal to C is equal to A plus B. So, what you observe here, what you observe here, here at statement S2, the statement S2 is anti-dependency of statement S1. S2 is anti-dependent of statement 1. What it mean? It means S2 follows S1. Here S2 is following S1 because first uh, whatever... Here it's something it's happening and it is executing. The D is storing some result. And whatever this result is there, that is overwriting the C value. That is overwriting the C value. That means, suppose if S2 follows S1 in program order. Suppose S2 is following S1 in the program order. Okay. And instruction S2 tries to write a register on memory location before the instruction S1. Suppose let's take the S2 trying to write a register or memory location before instruction S1 reads. Before it is reading, it is tried to overwrite. So, the original order must be preserved to ensure that S1 reads correct value. We have to think that the S1 is going to be read the correct value. But before S1 is executing, S2 is going to uh, write the register or memory location. So, it is also called as, the anti-dependence is also called war hazard. That means right after read hazard. And it is going to be denoted as, so S2 is anti-dependent of statement S1. 
so this is anti dependency then coming to the next type of dependency what is this the next type of dependency is the output dependency the name itself it is saying that it is an output dependency what it means what it means okay so let's take it two statements s1 and s2 s1 is c is equal to a plus b and s2 i am taking c is equal to d plus e so here these are the two outputs s1 is generating one output and s2 is generating another output which are which are storing the values in the same register or the memory location okay so the two statement s1 and s2 are output dependent if they are right to same memory location they are writing to the writing to same memory location same memory location so this also called as write after write hazard and this can be represented as this s1 is output dependence to the s2 so this is the way you have to represent anti dependency is like this and output dependency is like this okay now coming to the fourth type of dependency the fourth type of dependency is the io dependency so what is io dependency io input output dependency that is read and write or read and write or io statements input output statement that is the input output dependency occurs not because the same variable is involved but same file is referred let me write that here the meaning of this io dependency occurs dependence occurs not because the same variable the same variable is involved not because of the same variable is involved but same file is referenced is referenced by both io statement so the both input output statements are referring to the same file then you call it as an input output dependency suppose the file 1 is there so this file 1 the statement s1 is trying to read input it is trying to read input okay and s2 is what it is doing s2 is trying to write output at the same time the same file is going to be referred by both input and output statement s1 is reading the input value and s2 is writing the output value so obviously these two statements is having the io dependence input output dependency so one will be affected by the other statement so s1 is io dependence on s2 so this is the another type of the data dependency io dependency coming to the last one that is a fifth one unknown dependency so unknown dependency is a simple thing uh, here when dependency relation between two statement cannot be determined let me write the statement when dependency relation between two statements cannot be determined okay it cannot be determined by the situation so unknown dependency so here the dependency relationship whatever we are taking so here this dependency relationship between any two statements cannot be determined by the situation okay so here does a parallel execution of the program segment which do not have total independence can produce non deterministic result the thing here you have to remember that the parallel execution the parallel execution of program segment whatever the program segment is there so here the parallel execution of program segment which do not have which do not have total data independence total data independence can produce non deterministic result obviously it can produce non deterministic result 
results. So this is about the data dependency. There are five different data dependencies are there. Okay. So in the next video, I'll take a simple example and I uh, how the data dependency is going to be identified by using some sequence of statements. I'll give a sequence of statements from that. Uh, I'll try to explain what type of dependencies are existing in the sequence of statements. Okay. Thank you.